what a ride the Lafayette Generals gave the fans of high school football in Central Kentucky last year. Eric Shaw's band of self-described goofy, crazy athletes went to the 6A state finals for the first time in 30 years. Lafayette lost some key contributors, but they have a lot returning also. You can't replace a landing, you can't replace an all-star, you can't replace those DBs that we had last year that graduated. Uh, it's, it's not about, a, about replacing them, it's about developing the talent that we have to put in a position to be successful. For the most part, most of my receivers are back. Quentin Brown, Matthew Guilfoyle, Daquan Edwards, and a bunch of the other guys. And there's guys that didn't play huge roles last year that are really going to step up and uh, fill, fill in the steps of like Mason Allstad or Vestry that no one really knows about yet. Coming back as well for a final fun-filled season is Walker Wood. He is a Jim McMahon, funky QB type of persona who is a unique leader and who can do it all. Uh, he brings leadership a lot, uh, a lot of leadership and a lot of big plays. He's a big playmaker, and uh, we can always count on him when we need one. One of our things that we always say, 11 equals one. I can't do it my, by myself, and 10 of us can't do it. There's got to be 11 on the field. During that magical playoff run a year ago, the Generals rallied in the fourth quarter to win every postseason game up to the state finals. Now in 2016, the defense especially is a lot older. Well, there was one great thing about that group last year. They played, and they played hard. They never felt that felt that it was out of a game. And they played the game reckless. To play defense, you gotta play it like that. For 27 teams in 27 days, I'm Brian Milam.